Okay, let's learn uh, geography option answer writing with me. We'll discuss some PYQs on a consistent basis. The question I'm picking up is a 2012 question. Write a note on the different layers of the oceans above the abyssal plains. It's a very standard question, a very simple L world depth of questions. And if you have done a bit of some interesting or class notes, we all know that the average depth of oceans are around four or five kilometers. And the typical depth we talk about is the epipelagic zones, the mesopelagic zones, the abyssopelagic zones, the bathypelagic zones. So this is there in your some interesting textbook oceanography. Look this up. So it's a very simple question. And if you want an answer on this, please uh, join me on the Telegram group. We call this as uh, Geography with Edukemi. Is a Telegram group. Join me on that. Now the problem is that these kind of questions can also be enriched very well. Above the abyssal plain, which is 4,000 meters, the oceans can be organized in different ways. Uh, we have uh, layers based on light. Uh, epiphotic zone, uh, dysphotic zone, aphotic zone. We also have layers of oceans on the basis of salinity variations or temperature variations. We have the above layers within 200, then we have the transition layers called as halocline or thermocline and the deeper waters beyond 1000 or 1500 meters. Apart from this, the ocean layers can also be classified on the basis of water masses. We have the central water mass, the intermediate water mass, the deep and the bottom water masses also. The challenge is that this question, if you want to really get good marks and stand out and that should be one of the objectives, see how you can combine all of this together. If I was writing this answer, what I would do is I start the introduction by saying ocean waters are not homogeneous there are variations and the depth of the oceans is four five kilometers and based on the different aspects of depth the light or other properties the ocean waters can classify it in different ways I would draw a table first in the table I would put the light based classification and also the depth based classification together the epipelagic zone is almost similar to your photic zone the mesopelagic zone almost similar to your uh, dysphotic zone and the aphotic zones are deeper I would have done that and then I would write on the classification of the oceans on the basis of salinity and temperature. One single diagram with graph, uh, show thermokine and halokine. Then talk about ocean water masses, draw a graph there. And see if can add that these variations of properties can also be expressed in terms of PS diagrams. And end that these layers of oceans is what gives the ocean its dynamism. The water masses, they interact with one another and we have a thermohaline currents. So that's how you make the answers interesting. Check out for these kind of videos for quick answer writing practice. And do join me on Telegram channel, Geography with Edukemi, on which I am sharing answers and questions on daily basis for your practice.